This is Dr. B, and in this video, we'll write the name for the ternary ionic compound CaClO32. We'll follow these steps to make sure we have the right name. First, we make sure that we know what type of compound we have. On the periodic table, we can see that calcium, that's a metal. Then we have that ClO3, that's a group of nonmetals, and that makes this a polyatomic ion. So it's a ternary ionic compound. Next, we write the name for Ca using the periodic table. For Ca, the name is calcium, and we write that just as it's found on the periodic table. Then, we're going to write the name for that polyatomic ion, that ClO3. Since it's a polyatomic ion, we need to look it up on a common ion table. You'll usually be given one. For ClO3, we have chlorate, and that's the name for CaClO3 too, calcium chlorate. You could also write a Lewis structure for this, and that might look something like this here. Note, this represents a formula unit, and that CaClO32, that calcium chlorate, is normally found in a crystal consisting of many formula units. For more practice naming and writing formulas, visit the Naminator website and subscribe to my channel. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.